everybody. I'm Marcus Took. And I'm Natalie Horton. And we're back with another fun episode of Get, Get Out. Out. Lately here on Get Out, we have enjoyed taking the mini blue bus routes all over the city to see some of the cool things to see and do here in Santa Monica. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun and they're great buses. They are eco-friendly, they have lower bus fares, and they go pretty much anywhere in Santa Monica. That's right. You don't have to worry about those parking hassles <clears throat> here in the city. You just take yeah. one of the bus routes and there you go. Exactly. Yeah, today we are featuring the Sunset Ride and this ride goes all over Santa Monica. It's a great way to travel between SMC's campus and the parking lots. Yeah, you can take it to Stewart Park. Clover Park, Airport Park, the Water Garden, the Arboretum, all over. Yeah, and if you have any questions about any of the Mini Blue Bus rides, it's easy. Just go to BigBlueBus.com and click on the Mini Blue Bus link. All right, today's stops, lots of fun. We start the day at the Ocean Park and 17th stop visiting Artful, a great store loaded with fun, artsy surprises. Then it's to the stop on Stewart Street, just before Nebraska for the West Side School of Ballet. Learn to pirouette here. <laughs> yeah, uh, and next it's to Ocean Park and 28th for a nice afternoon treat cookies at Schmerdy's. Mm. And for the grand finale, we'll hop off at the Santa Monica Airport stop for some high flying adventures at Skyward Flight School. All right, ready? Let's go. Looking for a gift for somebody or maybe something for yourself? Why not come to a place that's unique and local like Artful? All right, so now we're inside, and this is Nancy Lombardi, the owner of this very beautiful store. Thank you. What a fun place to come visit, Thank huh? you very much. I'm looking around, and you have so many unique pieces in here. Tell me about the kind of stuff that you guys carry. It's all handmade, okay. um, American handmade crafts. I like supporting American crafts people and mm -hmm. um, artisans. As a guy, when I hear about a store that carries crafts, doesn't really pique my interest, but then I come in here and I think, oh, I could get that for my mom, and oh, that'd make a great gift, and oh, this would, this would be perfect for that friend, and there really is a lot of neat stuff in here that appeals to a wide range of people. Yeah, I, I actually try for that, and there are, there are also things that I think men would like. Uh -huh. um, these clocks. Um, yeah, the clocks are really cool, especially the way you have them arranged as kind of a collection. It's, it's right. you know, a lot of fun. And like here, these are unique. Uh, anybody who's a, a fan of wine have got some neat Right, exactly. Wine that can be for men too, and they, and, and they often are. It's kind of cool that the handmade aspect of this, you look at a lot of the stuff in here, and there's something unique and special when somebody made it by hand. Exactly. Somebody put their heart and soul into these little pieces. Right, exactly. That's the really neat things about, these, mm -hmm. about this art, and that's what I've always liked about it. You know, I mean, I don't think that art has to be really expensive or costly. I mm -hmm. think that there are things that are handmade that are, that are artful that are um, lower priced. I, I think a lot of people think of art and they think of a framed painting on a wall or you know, something like that. But here, you know, a piece of art is, like we said, a, a wine stopper or right. it's a, a piece of ceramic or, right. or pottery. You know, it's, it's functional art. I mean, that's what, that's what I like about it. It doesn't have to be a, a huge, costly painting. It's just everyday art that people can use. And where do you find the artists whose work do you feature here? Um, I know some people who I've bought from previously. Uh -huh. I have friends who, who know people. People stop in the store. I go to craft shows, gift shows. Um, so you, you never know where you're going to discover right. somebody whose who's work you might have in the store, huh? Right. Huh. Something else I noticed that you guys have in here, Nancy, a lot of jewelry, a lot of handmade jewelry. Yes, and we all like adornments, and so I try to have a really nice variety of uh, jewelry also. Want to visit Artful? It's easy. The store is at 1726 Ocean Park Boulevard, and the phone number is 310-581-5150. Well, I know where I need to do some more of my shopping, and that's uh, right here at Artful. And that would be wonderful. Yeah. See you here. Okay, I just found my old ballet slippers, so I decided to hop on the mini blue bus and take the sunset ride to the West Side School of Ballet right on the corner of Stewart and Nebraska. Let's go see how much I remember. Hello, I'm here with Antonio Lopez, one of the ballet masters here at the West Side School of Ballet. How are you doing, Antonio? Very well, thank you. Great, thanks for having us. Thank you for coming and visit. Of course. So when I think of ballet, I usually think of little girls in tutus or a very experienced adult ballet dancer. But you can actually 
be an adult and come take class as a beginner, correctly? Exactly. We offer classes here at Westside. We offer an array of classes, adult classes, beginning, intermediate, advanced, for the ladies, for the gentlemen who want to come and study a craft, learn an art, or getting a work workout, or getting exercise, or learning music, or stretching, or enhancing your life and broadening your horizons. And I bet that you can see, you know, there's a lot of Pilates going on, yoga is very popular. But with ballet, I'm sure you get all of those benefits as well. Plus, you get to actually learn a skill, like a ballet, with music. You, you learn the craft, the art of dance, yes. Right. And there's different than just sports. Of course, sports is, is very fantastic because it's very influential in my life. But with ballet, you, you learn the music, the vocabulary, the history of dance, while, while getting a good workout. Okay, so... I'm going to take one of the beginner beginning classes. Class. Are you Be sure it's beginner? It's because beginning, but you know what? We've, we've gotten pretty good in this class lately. Right. They pay attention, we work hard, and uh, we have fun. So, uh, good luck. Great, I'm going to need it. All right, let's go. Ready to try on your tutu again? Head to the West Side School of Ballet at 1709 Stewart Street. Their number is 310-828-2018. And you can find them online at westsideballet.com. Okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. You know, after a long day of working, nothing really hits a spot like a tasty, delicious afternoon treat. Maybe some cookies. We're here at Schmarty's to find out if their cookies are the best in town. Let's go inside. Just being inside here, I'm in the mood for cookies. This is Jeff and Serna. They are the owners here of Schmarty's Gourmet Cookies. and. Uh, why do people like cookies so much? Because they're fun. It brings them back to their childhood when their mom used to make them cookies or grandma, and it was just always a happy time. You'd sit there, have a glass of milk with your warm cookies, and it just always brings back happy memories. It's a comfort food. What do people uh, tell you when they keep coming back for more and more of your treats? What do they tell you they like about Schmarty's? They just say that they're really good cookies, that they're fresh, they're soft, and it just they, a lot of people tell us that they're their, their favorite cookies. And and it reminds them that homemade, it reminds them of their childhood when their mom used to make them cookies. That, that's what they said. They're saying that uh, fresh, homemade, mm -hmm. and uh, they also like our funny names. Yeah, which, with that. which I'm looking at right here. You've got like the Glazer, Cranchmert, Schmerty Doodle, Total Chaos, Ferdy Foe, Ferdy Foe Joe. What, what's behind the Schmerty? Okay, I'll give you the, the mm. best Reader Digest version I can. <laughs> Jeff and his friends, when we first started dating, for somehow they gave me the name Schmerty. And we always said that if we ever opened a cookie shop, or if we ever opened any type of shop, a store, our own business, I was going to call it Schmerty's. So now we are in the kitchen, and this is where all these cookies come to life. You guys bake everything back here. And I'm surrounded by cookies. I really want to grab one. That schmirt sounds pretty good. I think that one's calling my name. So let's just grab a nice little schmirt there right. for it. Here, I'll give you this one. Here it goes. Oh, man. This is so good. And I like chewy cookies, cookies that are a little bit soft. This is great. If it's time to feed your sweet tooth, try Schmerdy's at 2819 Ocean Park. Call them at 310-664-8868 or check out their website, schmerdy's.com. Mmm. That definitely hit the spot. That cookie, delicious. That would be Schmerdy. Schmerdy, Schmerdy delicious. Schmertacular or Schmertiful. He could go on all day. I am here at the Santa Monica Airport, and believe it or not, I am about to learn how to fly a plane. Yes, that's right. I am going to be flying this bad boy.
All right, I am here with Michael Bixler, one of the ins flight instructors for the Skyward Flight School. How are you doing? Great. Good. Uh, this is amazing out here. Why would people want to take um, an, a flying lesson? Well, Natalie, it's, it's really fun. Uh, it's very low cost to do an intro flight, um, and you get out of the house. It's about a half an hour flight trip, uh, and you get to learn a little bit about the airplane uh, and the physics behind it as well. Uh, and learn how to fly the plane so you'll actually get to handle the controls. So what do you think, uh, what do your students like most about the experience of flying? Um, mostly it's the view, uh, the, the fun, you know, characteristics of the airplane, the gauges, uh, really exciting. Uh, just having a good time going to another airport as well. Uh, a lot of pilots, after they get their license, they'll rent an airplane, take off, go to, let, let's say, like Catalina Island, land there, eat at the restaurants, and uh, have, have a good time. Wow, so you can make a day trip of it. Yeah, That's exactly. That's so neat. So if someone wanted to come take a flying lesson, what exactly would they have to do? What's the process? Um, all they have to do is just call Skyward Aviation uh, or any other flight school. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. And you just call, schedule a uh, flight, give us your name and your number. Uh, we'll do an intro flight with you. So how long are you in the classroom before you get to actually go in the air? Um, approximately like about a half an hour I like oh. to spend with the students uh, just to familiarize them with the, uh, the controls and the, uh, how the airplane flies and turns and climbs uh, and descends as well. Okay. So, okay, I'm actually going to learn to fly. Okay. Fingers crossed. Let's go do it. <laughs> If you want to see Santa Monica from a different angle, try Skyward Flight School at the Santa Monica Airport. You can call them at 310-313-3450 or find them online at skyward-aviation.com. Okay, wow, that was so much fun. We have officially landed and made it safely. So you guys have got to come out here and check out Skyward Flight School. Mike, that was awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. Okay. How did you get the flying story and not me? Well, if you recall, you get to eat amazing food every episode while I pretty much work out or do other things. So I decided to do something a little extra special for myself. All right, good point. But I mean, you know, cookies, flight school, flight school cookies, I see. But I'm still jealous. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to get my pilot license, and uh, then I'll take you flying. Yeah, not so sure how safe I feel about that. I think I'd rather take my own lessons. Thank you, though. <sighs> Right, you know it was good, you just don't want to admit it. Right, uh, we can talk about this later because we are uh, out of time, but this has been a fun trip on the Sunset Ride. Yes, it has. Yeah, we've enjoyed it. We look forward to seeing you next time right here with more fun on Get, Get out. out. I'm going to go fly. You want to come? Get out. Oh.